Hello crafty friends, welcome to today's video. Last night I was playing around with some blobby stamps and making some blobby backgrounds and I thought I'd share that process with you today and make a card. So these are the two backgrounds I made using some stamps. This one uh, has like paint swipes on it, but also some homemade stamps that I cut from foam. Today I'm going to ditch the shop-bought stamps and just use homemade stamps. And I think I'll change my colour scheme up slightly. I'm not overly taken with creamsicle, which is very neon when you look at the colour there. I'm trying to film a video. I'm trying to film a video. You can sit on the windowsill if you want. Yeah, you like the windowsill, don't you? So I'm going to use clay mask and go -si do because they're quite nice subtle colours in the red-orange. Creamsicle does eventually kind of fade back to slightly less neon. I think I might go apricot. It's a bit lighter than the clay mask. And instead of, I think that was buttercream, one of the lighter colours there, I'm going to use shea butter, which is a bit more yellowy, just to bring in a bit more brightness. So that's my colour scheme for today. We've got a red orange, a red orange, an orange and a yellow. So they're analogous colours. They're near each other on the colour wheel and they're not going to make mud when they overlap. And I'm going to use my stamp positioner because it's got a foam pad in it with a bit of give, which means I can get a decent impression when I press down, but I'm not going to use the door. It'll just be quicker and easier to use a acrylic block. So to make my stamps, I'm just going to use this sheet of fun foam. I got this from Hobbycraft and it's two millimeters thick, but you can use whatever thickness works for you. And I want four different shapes. And all I'm going to do is randomly Cut them with a pair of scissors. And obviously you can create whatever shapes you want. And all I need to do to adhere them to my block is use a bit of stick glue or you could use double sided tape, whatever works for you. And I think I'll start with the largest blob and the lightest colour, which is shea butter. This is a piece of smooth white cardstock and I cut it to five by seven. So I could make a five by seven card or a four by six card, or I can cut it down and die cut from it. And all I'm doing is adding a good layer of ink and giving it a few seconds to transfer. And rotating the stamp so it's in different orientations each time I stamp it. And now I've got five of those on there and that'll do for now. We can always add more. I've chosen to use Catherine Pooler inks because they're dye inks and they're translucent. So when the shapes overlap, you should get some uh, layering of the colour. Okay, so that's that one. There's still plenty of glue on there. We'll do this one and I think we'll do apricot. So I think I want one down here. The inks wipe off of the foam really well, so I'll keep these, I'll pop them in a little pocket and stick them in my mixed media stamp folder. So I think clay mask next. I think this would look really nice in maybe blues, teals, greens. You could make sea glass with these kind of shapes honestly when you make 
stamps with craft foam and they stamp as beautifully as this you do wonder why <laughs> you spend money on actual stamps i think that'll do there's five of those so now for do -si do which is probably the lightest and brightest it's from the party collection rather than the spa collection just bring in a bit of extra light and brightness So that's all my blobs done and just to clean my acrylic block and to clean my foam stamps I'll just use a baby wipe or I could take them to the tap and give them a rinse in warm water and I hope you can see how beautiful these look when they overlap you get different colours as the colours overlap. So I'm wondering about adding a few dots in this dot marker this is what colour is this for and this is a zig clean colour dot marker. I think that light brown will work quite well, won't overwhelm it, but I don't want to do too many. I do have a tendency to go in quite heavy handed. Just add a few here and there because I can always add more later when I've got my card ready. I think I will use this dot stamp to add some grey dots. I do like the look of adding black to something like this because it is quite striking the colour and the black against one another. But I think I'll leave that until I know what I'm going to do with this. And then I can place it strategically. And that'll do. This grey is pebble. So I'm very happy with that. This was the first one that I did. And it's a little bit bold for me with all of those big red blobs. So I'm glad I've toned it down a bit. This I liked, but again, I think the black is a bit stark and this creamsicle colour is a bit neon. So I'm happy with my choices here with the colour scheme and just adding a little bit of texture, visual texture with the dot marker and the grey stamping. So to create my card, I'm going to cut a square using this square frame die and I think I'll grab this it's got a bit of everything a little bit of white so I'll just run that through my cuttle bug so I've cut my square it's got a frame around the outside but I'm actually wondering about maybe popping a black frame on top and adding a black leaf -y thing. And that's instead of stamping on some black. But I think the black frame might be a little bit too restrictive. I do like it with just that frame. And then this little twiggy thing, and I like it. And I've accidentally popped it under the frame there so I could have it coming in like that and off like that I rather like that and then I could have a sentiment up here maybe black on white or white on black but I'm wondering about popping that on there and having ever such a thin black frame around the frame I might try that yeah I like that just a tiny little black frame it's not too much and I like having this stitched frame so I'm going to stick all that together just put a little bit of 
high tech glue there get that the right way up dip it in now I've managed to glue that bit down there but I should if I'm careful we have to lift that up yes I like that and now for a sentiment so I've got these two congratulations I'm trying to decide whether black on white or white on black. I don't think that's punchy enough. I think that works. I think I'll double up the card though. I'll put a bit of card on the back. just gives it a little bit of lift but it's not as much as adding craft foam it can just come off the side ever so slightly to echo that leaf there and I think I need just a couple more blobs so I'm really happy with that I'm trying to resist the urge to add any bling or any nouveau drops because i think it is fine as it is i think if i was going to add any dimensional things to it i would choose maybe either morning dew nouveau drops which are transparent they're completely clear when they dry or maybe black nouveau drops but i think that would be too much black i could if i wanted put my morning dew drops over the little fawn coloured circles so they almost look like enamel dots but I'm going to leave it like that I might come back to it later and add them but I think for now I'm going to leave it like that so I hope you've enjoyed the video and it's encouraged you to get out your fun foam and make some stamps of your own if it has please do leave a thumbs up let me know in the comments subscribe ring the notification bell and I will see you back here very soon thank you for watching bye for now